All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Now, recently I was doing some online shopping on Amazon, as one does, and I came across something that really piqued my interest. So as you know on this channel, I have done a couple different fish tank reviews, some good, some not so good. We've done a lot of aquarium unboxings, to say the least. But this one was really intriguing and really interesting. Something advertised as a self-cleaning aquarium, no need for water changes. Strange, but... Of course, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to skip some water changes, so I went ahead and ordered this self-cleaning aquarium, and we're gonna really take a quick deep dive into this to see really what's going on, because from the pictures, it looks really intriguing. So before we actually get into the unboxing, I wanna go ahead and show you, this is what the tank looks like. It looks pretty much unlike any tank I've seen before. It's 1.45 gallons, so really small. We're gonna get into that later though. It supposedly has a built-in filter, some color changing lights, this like plant pot holder you see, and it honestly just caught my attention to say the least for the low price of $45, here it is today. I'm assuming it's gonna be a box inside of a box, so let me just cut this one open. And today I really just wanna determine if this tank is worth it, if this tank is even suitable for a fish. It is pretty small, one and a half gallons for any fish is super small. Oh, and here is our aquarium. So in typical Amazon off-brand fashion, this is called the Amphibious Oxygen Pumping Fish Tank. Okay, looking at the picture, we have some flowers and some fake fish. This fish tank is actually, um, looks more concerning than I thought. On the side right here, we have some specs, which honestly don't say much. To be honest, it's irrelevant at this point. And then on the other side, there's some product highlights, but whatever. That's pretty much it for the box. Pretty boring, pretty plain, honestly. Cracking this open, let's see what's on top. Now, I'm sure you know by now this is not sponsored. They did not send me this tank. I completely paid for this. Here is the little instruction pamphlet, very small. And then here is the aquarium. It looks like an egg, I don't know. Okay, so that was a little bit of a dilemma, but here's everything you get in the box. You get some maintenance tools, a aquarium cleaning brush, and a net. You get whatever this thing is. There's actually a piece of filter floss in here. I have no idea where this piece goes. Trust me, I have like read through all the instructions, looked the absolute most. I have no clue where this goes. And then we have the aquarium itself with a singular power cord, which I already have my thoughts on that, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, as you can see, the base is kind of transparent. That's actually where the light shines through. Believe it or not, the lights on this tank come from the bottom. Interesting. At the top right here, we have this piece, which is where like your plant's supposed to go, the plant holder. And then here is the filter. So the idea is that there's an intake down here. It pumps water up, that little like tube thing, okay? And then it water falls through some activated charcoal, some biomedia, and then there's a little piece of filter floss down there as well. So this is a very basic filtration system, but by no means is this no maintenance. Um, this carbon's gonna get used up. It's gonna be old, it's gonna need to be replaced, and I'm not quite sure if they even sell these little replacement rings. I would imagine they do, but I wasn't able to find anything about them. But other than that, I guess the only way we're really gonna know anything else about this tank is if we fill it up and get some water flowing and see really what goes down. So I'm gonna set this on the counter and we'll start filling it up with water and then we'll investigate what we're gonna do about substrate because if you put substrate down in this tank, it's gonna block all the light and then there'll be no light. So give me a second and we'll get this figured out. And here is the aquarium set up. I have it plugged in. Here is that on button that allows you to change the color of the lights, which it really does nothing but like change colors really. It's nothing crazy. For now, we'll just leave it on that color right there, and let's start filling this thing up with water. I went ahead and removed the top filter piece, which gives us, obviously, access to the tank. And if you do hear a slight humming, that's actually the filter motor doing whatever it needs to do. But I'm just gonna pull this over here, and we can start filling this tank right on up. It shouldn't take too much water. It is only 1.45 gallons. So I'll just go ahead and finish filling this tank up. But one thing I do notice is now that the tank's kind of full, if we take a look at the bottom, all of those dots disappeared and the bottom is now just reflective, which is cool. It's a nice tip also. I'm filling this up with hot water. Don't know why. Didn't mean for it to be hot water, but fish won't be going in here for a while, so ignore that. So now that this very unique egg of an aquarium is set up, um, just to show you kind of what the filter system does, if we slide this piece right on in and put this piece up here, you can see that's how the waterfall is supposed to look. So the idea here is that the water is sucked from the bottom right here, pumps up through the middle. It will get filtered because it's a self-cleaning tank. It'll be filtered by the plant roots. Then it will cascade through the carbon biomedia and those little sponges and then kind of waterfall 
back into the tank, which you can't really see, but it's there. To say the least, it's a very interesting fish tank. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Um, the filtration system itself is pretty strange. These are your feeding holes right here. Strange, I know. But that's pretty much it for the setup. Now, obviously, this is really boring. There's nothing in the tank. So when I was going over some options for substrate, the only thing I could think of was some little glass balls. And that's because we need something that the color will like transpire through. Um, if you just put gravel down, I would think it would just go ahead and block all the lights down there, and then you wouldn't be able to see anything. So the only thing I could find that would semi work for this are gonna be these transparent crystals. Well, they're not crystals at all, they're just marbles. So now we have those marbles, you know, dropped down at the bottom. This also should be mentioned that, well, first of all, I really don't think these marbles look good at all. I think it's like really ugly. Um, in that light, it might look a little bit better. But as we cycle through the colors, oh, it looks okay in blue. Okay. I don't love the marbles. It's just really the only option I could think of because gravel would not work. And with the lights being on the bottom, this also means this tank will not be suitable for live plants. Anything other than the plant up here because it would be getting natural light. Um, but this will not sustain any live plants at all. No gravel, no real light. So this is basically just a fish only aquarium, of course, with the addition of whatever we're gonna put here. One thing I did find fairly interesting about this tank is while it does not include an aquarium heater, the owner's manual does make mention that one is required for tropical fish, which is already really great. However, I don't really see where in this tank a heater could be placed. So there's actually no easy way to put a heater in here. It is nice that there is mention of it in the manual, but it's not practical in this tank at all. I'm gonna go ahead and let the tank run a cycle, do its thing for about a day, you know, kind of filter through a couple times before we take another look at it. But in the meantime, checking out some of the tools it comes with. These are honestly more of gimmicks than anything. We have a little sponge on a stick and this little net. I don't know what to say about these. These are literally probably the cheapest tools I've ever seen. They look like kids' toys. I would have liked to have seen higher quality tools, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm sure it'll get the job done. So it's been a few hours of the tank running and the tank does not look any different. But if we take a look at the countertop the tank is placed on, one issue I found is that that fountain splashes water everywhere. So this entire counter is like, wet as you can see. So I'm sure this problem would be easily solved if we put something in here. So I'm gonna go maybe get some bamboo or something and just stick it in here in the meantime to hopefully baffle this splashing so it's just not quite as obnoxious. I believe if you end up not wanting to put anything in here, you can use that little white piece I was confused about earlier. I believe it can go on in place of this clear piece and it just plugs that hole a little bit nicer. But for now, let's go ahead and try to get some plants in here. So right here, I have a mix of pothos and bamboo, and this is a great mix of semi-aquatic um, house plants. These guys will all do great here. Okay, well, maybe not that one, um, but these guys do great when their roots are submerged and their foliage is coming out of water. I just kind of shoved it right on in there. And while it doesn't look maybe the prettiest, hopefully that will help baffle the water. If we move the tank over a little bit, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Definitely strange, not sure how I feel about that. Um, but we're just gonna kind of let it do its thing now for another day and hopefully it doesn't splash anymore. And we're back about a day later since we set up the self-cleaning aquarium and I'm back to give my final thoughts on it. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and read you some reviews that some people left on this aquarium on Amazon where I purchased it from. I went ahead and grabbed some screenshots of some reviews I thought were kind of interesting and I thought we could just take a look at those first. The first one being someone who said the pump stopped working after a month Horrible product, no warranty, with this picture. Now, judging things just based off this picture, it looks like there were bigger issues there than just the pump. Maybe, you know, lack of maintenance. I guess the self-cleaning tank wasn't so self-cleaning after all. But that is a very real possibility with a tank like this that doesn't really have any customer service, supposedly, or stuff like that. You do kind of miss out on a warranty sometimes, and if an issue like this were to happen, you kind of would be out whatever money you paid for the tank. The next review I found was someone saying the light button broke after a week and then the unit started leaking. So because the pump and everything is contained in the bottom of this aquarium, there's really no way to clean like an impeller or anything like that. And if it did start to leak, there's really no way to fix that. So that is a downside to this like all in one egg shaped design. Uh, it's an interesting concept, but I don't think it's very practical. And then this last review is from someone who actually really likes the tank. They said it was a cute tank. It worked out well for them. They did mention it is a little bit loud, which is true. You can definitely hear this unit running, but it's nothing too bad at all. Um, they go on to say that they've had experience with 50 to 200 gallon tanks. So this little tank should be no big deal for them at all. Of course, we just have to figure out if it really stands the test of time. But that's what some people on Amazon had to say. Let's go run back over to the tank and I'll give you my final thoughts because I don't know, I'm honestly kind of torn on this tank. And here we are two days since we went ahead and opened this tank up. 
As you can see, so far so good. The tank is pretty clear. I like the way it's looking. The little waterfall on top is nice and neat. I haven't had any more issues with splashing since I put our plants in. But overall, it's a nice tank for what it is, okay? I would not recommend putting fish in this. Like, a betta fish might be good in here temporarily if it were like a baby betta fish. But even then, you'd have to put a heater in here. And also, I don't really know what reliability looks like on this tank. If you had maybe a couple small guppies and you did want to put a heater in here, this tank could be functional for very, very small and very, very few fish. But overall, for the amount of fish they advertise, or even goldfish, it's going to be a no-go for me. Now, as much as I'm saying this isn't a good tank, um, by any means, and it's most definitely not going to be self-cleaning, you're still going to have to do water changes, those plants will do a good job pulling some phosphate and nitrate out of the water if the plants continue to grow. But if the plant's roots start to rot or the plants start to die off, that's just going to contaminate the aquarium even more. So that is something you're going to have to watch for. But as much as I don't love the tank, it's not that bad for the price. I mean, it's a fun little experiment. I'm sure you could do something productive with this. It's definitely better than some other aquariums I've seen. Comparatively priced, there's a lot worse tanks out there. The fact this even has running water and a place for you to put some plants to help filter the water even more, whatever that means, it's actually really nice. So now we have the question of would I recommend this tank? I would say no to the general public. I would say yes if you wanted a fun experiment and you could maybe find it on sale on Amazon. But if you have a good idea of something you could do with this tank, the tank itself, at least so far, does what it's supposed to and it works. You just have to take things with a grain of salt. It's not gonna be self-cleaning just because there's a filter. Doesn't mean you don't have to do water changes, okay? And in my personal experience, I haven't had any issues with build quality. Also, I've had this tank for like three days. Things could go wrong and you could be out a $45 tank. Overall though, it's totally up to you. This was a fun tank to check out. I had fun reviewing it. I've never seen an aquarium look like an egg before. The waterfall was neat and it's, you know, always fun to see what's out there on the market. So that is going to be it for me in this 1.45 gallon egg aquarium. If you have any questions about it, do not forget to leave them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching once again and good bye.